and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. I'm going to be going over what you should be doing in Madden 20 right now. Now, this video is kind of unique, right? So, a lot of things just came out yesterday. The market died, new sets, new cards, Christmas Day, and not to mention a lot of new players probably just got Madden for the first time. So I feel like this could definitely help a lot of you new guys, for all you guys watching who have never really played Madden before or you're new to the game. So this is kind of like a what to do first, as well as what to do now for all you current players and for all you new players. So it's kind of a cool video combination where we combine a lot of new audiences. And by the way, guys, I want to thank you real quick for 15,000 subscribers. We did it 15,300, and then YouTube purged old subscribers that don't watch anymore, or they, they have dead they have dead accounts. So I went from 15,300 back to 15,000 flat. Now we're back at 15.1, but thank you guys for all the crazy support. We've been growing crazy fast. I thank you guys for that. Hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be sitting in the same chair a year from now, looking at 50K, half a hundred thousand. Now, that's the goal. Let's see if we can keep that up, guys. But... What should we do in Madden right now? You guys will know all the information as soon as we go over the 25 days of poop miss. All you guys gotta do is enter as per usual is comment down below your console, comment down below your secret word here throughout the video, and then make sure to subscribe and to the channel and like the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. I will be announcing today's winner probably in the 10:30 video. So stay tuned for that. Now, guys, what's we doing in Madden right now? So as you guys know, what did we get yesterday and what do we anticipate to get? So zero chill. We anticipate. Oh, we did get a ghost of Madden past Michael Vick. Now, here's my thing. I feel as though last year we got a lot more present players and a lot more past players. So I feel as though we might be getting some more limited time past and, uh, past and present, as well as more regular past and present. Start, they're not a part of sets. They're going to be loose cards. I feel like we should at least get those. Not to mention, one quick thing over here. Let's go over to the solos, which makes me think that we're getting more stuff. If you go over to solo challenges and you go over to... Come on. Zero chill. We have the training camp, which is going to be 70 stars. We have this. This is going to be 100 stars. That's 170 stars total. 12 days of Mutt Miss, which is 48 stars. And then a Mutt Miss Carol, which is 81 stars. So we're probably around like 300 stars at this point. Now, as you guys do know, this thing maxes out to about 434 stars. So we're definitely, this promo's not done yet. We're still getting more stuff. That, that's a given. So that's one thing that you can just see right there and be like, okay, so there's definitely more stuff coming. So that's great. Now, what would I be doing right now? So I did I did initially advise you guys during yesterday's market crash to buy and build your team. So now that that's happened already, now that you guys probably bought a bunch of players, notice that the market has skyrocketed up pretty significantly. And not, not, well, not skyrocketed up, but it did come up compared to what it was yesterday. To give you guys an example, let me show you guys this real quick. Let's go to 94 overall, 94, 94 to 95 overall cards. And you guys can see that a lot of cards did come back up. Not, not just, not guys like, for the most part, the, the snow cards, like the, the zero chill type cards, they stayed. But guys like Ronnie Lott was like 430, now he's 481. A lot of guys you could have bought for a pretty cheap price. Guys, if you really want to make some coins back, go ahead and all those cards yesterday that you got, you could be selling. You'll be selling a lot of them. Now guys, if you're new to the game and you bought a bunch of packs yesterday and you have no idea what to do, you can also be selling your cards. I'll be honest with you guys, this is probably the highest the market's going to be for the remainder of Madden. Like this is it, like Ronnie Lott, all these NFL 100 cards will not keep this value for much longer. They only came back up because people are buying a bunch of cards out. And then as we keep getting more cards, they're going to become worse. If you guys, if you guys pop packs yesterday, you guys had all your presents, you probably want to sell them because the market's only going to go down. Because what do we have coming soon? The end of the end of the year, some New Year's Eve stuff, maybe. And then we got Team of the Year, Playoff Promo, Awards. We got so much stuff coming that this is going to be it. So I recommend if you guys pulled, if you guys bought, if you guys made good value, right? If you bought Ronnie Lott for 460, don't sell him for 480. You're losing coins. But if you bought him for 430 and you sell him for 480, you're making like 10k there, depend, give or take, depending on how much you sell. So honestly, if you're gonna sell Ronnie Lott, if you could sell him for like 490 and you bought him for like 400 to 420k, you make a little bit back there. The higher price cards are a little bit harder. Let's say you got Calvin for 270, and now he's going for 315. Just one example. Make about 20, 20k there, give or take. There's just some decent ways. Now again, 20k doesn't sound like a lot, but if you bought 10 cards yesterday, you make 20 to 30k on all of them. You make between 200 and 300k. Definitely a great value, guys. It's just what I wanted to get across to you as something I would recommend to do. Now, what to do in Madden as far as if you're playing the game? Weekend League obviously opens later today. I plan to enter Weekend League just so that I can go ham with my new players that I've gotten. But other than that, you guys definitely want to be getting these solos done because you do get some pretty cool free stuff. Now, you do get a... The only issue with these solos that I have is that you get a lot of gingerbread men. And at this point, we don't have much of a use for gingerbread men anymore. Considering you guys probably either don't care about the gingerbread players or you already have them. 
So I don't really know what the point of giving us so many are. I thought more stuff would come out for them. They have not. You get the 88 to 91 overall on that player, which if you guys keep grinding for, grinding for that, you can still get that when the time does come now. I think there'll be more stuff. So let's say they do introduce more past and present cards. That does mean that the value of them will probably come down a little bit more. Now, the ones in the set won't be affected as much as you think because they are still set pieces for Vic, so they do kind of rely on the value of Vic primarily for their price. Now, can we get some more guys? Now, one quick little advice. They did announce... Which, again, this video is going to be seen after my 10.30 video, so if I, I might have, at 10.30, we might already know. But they did announce some picture where it was like hard-hitting storm coming Friday to Mutt, and it was like, it was at a hard-hitting rare storm. Now, hard-hitting rare storm makes me think, it gives me Blitz vibes, like Mutt Blitzes. So, could there be a Blitz coming tomorrow? It would make sense, because we have been talking about this Christmas Blitz. We're not entirely sure, just yet. But it could be coming. I'm going to be watching the stream at 10.30 so I can give you guys the full in detail if they, if they hint at anything. But they say it was coming. Now, that could mean two things. It could mean, and it was over Florida. So it could mean, that your word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment your comments. I want you to do all this things. You're to win. Good luck. That Florida type legends are coming, such as like Derek Brooks, Warren Sapp, Buccaneer type cards. Maybe Dan Marino, Miami Dolphins, which I don't think so because he might be an NFL 100 uh, quarterback. Could mean quite a few things. Now, we don't entirely know. Rondé Barber. Just my last little things right there. Could it could mean we can get Ghost of Madden Pass that come from Florida, like Buccaneers, the Jaguars, but it was over Tampa, so it might be the Buccaneers. Now that could be that, or it could be a blitz. We don't entirely know yet, but if there is more Ghost of Madden Pass, then the market's gonna come back down again. So if you start selling now before they come out, it could help you a little bit. But the other thing too is that if they're not great cars, like if it's a Derek Brooks no one wants, it shouldn't affect things too much, but a new car will always affect the market. Because last year that's what they did. We got the initial pass releases, then we got a bunch more. But last year there also wasn't a big set just like this one with the nap nap uh, pass coming all back now like all of them like that there was some there was some sets but they weren't like with bo jackson vic and these these banger cards so not many other cards can come out that are really going to be like affected bo jackson you know what i'm saying like we already got vic bo we got michael strand we got mel blunt we got some crazy good brand name cards especially bo and vic so that was pretty cool i don't think they could really top that drop but you never know we got ltd sean taylor yesterday which kind of went under the radar because it was christmas day but maybe we're gonna get some more ltds because that was a random zero chill ltd hoping we get like at least two more ltds before the end of the new year before, well, before the end of the year i should say because i forget that this is the last week so hopefully we get some new cards i expect that also now as far as if you guys have any presents left right if you guys have any presents left from yesterday that you guys never opened at this point i say maybe save them save them till tomorrow see what comes out See what, watch the EA stream today and tomorrow. See if they announce anything else. If they start saying like nothing else coming out, open them up, get your value back. But you never know, maybe there's new LTDs coming out. You could still open them up now for LTD Sean Taylor. That's all too if you want to go that route. Perfectly fine. But I'd recommend you guys wait. If you already have them, right? If you have them still there and you haven't opened them yet, just save them like another day or two. See if anything else is coming out. Like last year, we did the same thing. We thought things would come out. Never did. But last year, the promo started on the 6th. So yes, by Christmas, by Christmas, we were still going hard with that promo. So that promo went almost 20 days solid. Our promo here came out on the 17th. It had, it's only been nine days. So the promo better not be over yet. Because last year, we got at least over 20 days of promo content. This year, we only went from the 17th to the 26th. So it's been nine days. And two to three of those days didn't even drop content. So we only had like six days of content. So I think there's still going to be more stuff. So hold on to those presents because you could definitely still pull stuff. And worst case scenario, if you don't, if nothing comes out, you can still open them, potentially get a bow and all those other stuff. It's not like they're out of packs. The only thing you might miss out on is Sean Taylor. Now, as far as zero chill cards, they've taken pretty big hit. I think there's, the whole zero chill part of the promo every year always gets killed. I, I told you guys that before and I said, don't go, don't invest in zero chill cards. I warned you, don't buy zero chill cards. And I said, every year zero chill comes out. It's like the appetite. It's just the salad and the bread. It comes out, you're like, whoa, zero chill. And then it's like, Literally, three days later, the Ghost of Madden drop is like, eh, back in the garbage. I told you guys, McCaffrey, when he was 300k, I was like, he's probably going to come down. And when he was around 220, I said he'll probably be safe. That's, I mean, he can't he can't get much cheaper than this. But I told you guys at one point that these cards wouldn't be too relevant. Now, Walter Payton, I didn't think would get killed that bad. I thought, like, Walter Payton might be that top running back for the promo. I didn't think that him and, um, who's the other guy? I didn't think that him and Amon Green were just not going to be, we're just going to be, like, extra running backs because then Bo was coming out. We No one knew that one coming. But I did anticipate that a lot of these cards would get killed in value as soon as all the ghosts came out. And that's kind of exactly what happened. Zero Chill is the promo I don't mess with. Every year, Zero Chill, when it comes out, I'm like, I look, I window shop, but I don't buy. I wait. So I know Ghost of Madden Present is going to be better. Ghost of Madden Future is going to be better. Ghost of Madden. My Ghost of Madden Future is like always okay. And I knew that Ghost of Madden Past would be better. And then the Sean Taylor LTD. I knew there was more stuff coming. But that's besides the point, guys. All, all I'm saying is that for future reference, Ghost of Madden Pass and Ghost of Madden Preps are always going to kill the Zero Chill. So in the beginning of each promo, 
just in general team of the year when it first drops is the only promo where you can honestly buy pretty early on because team of the year is not like they're gonna drop early stuff it's gonna those are the cards and the playoff promo is gonna be the same thing it's going to be coming out with a bunch of decent stuff in the beginning and a bunch of good stuff at the end so save your coins for that too as well just some tips on what you should be doing right now build up your coin stack as far as getting your coins back on all those cards you probably bought for super cheap i think that pretty much wraps up today's video though i hope you guys did enjoy hope this gives you guys some good insight if you're a new madden player hope i somewhat gave you guys insight on madden if you're a current player you're a loyal supporter hope you guys just stayed up to date with what's going on and hopefully at 10 30 there's some content if there's not i should have some other videos ready to go for you guys i'm recording this like 10 minutes before 10 30 so we're gonna go check that out in just a second guys there's these 25 days of poop miss. all i gotta do to enter is like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below the secret word and your content once you do those things you're interested to win good luck enjoy the day after christmas enjoy recouping and you know apologizing to your wallets for the money you spent that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace